What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The History Hyenas. We have an extremely special episode for you today. I'm Chris Stefano, a.k.a. Communist Chris D. And with me, for the first time in history, we have Yanni One Kaknobi, Pussy Hat Papas, Special Needs Stamos. <laughs> the list go on and on. Yeah. Mr. Married, yeah, for the first time ever, married Mr. and Mrs. Giannis Papas. Sorry, boys, I'm taken. Yeah, I'm going to call you Mr. and Mrs. Giannis Papas. That's, that's what it is. That's a funny thing to call you. Because I do have a male and female living in my brain. Yeah, 100%. I could be married to myself at any point. I could have a conversation. I could have a husband-wife argument just at my own table. Yeah. I'd be like, listen, Giannis, you took me all the way here to put me to Park Slope, and now we're going, you're not going to take me to Westchester? Listen, Marisa, yeah. okay, I'm only dating you so we could double date with Chris. It's what it is. Yeah. Because yeah, if I was dating Marisa, then we could definitely have a double date with your baby's mama yeah oh my god my baby's mama would love Marisa cuz make no mistake yeah I if I got drunk enough I'd bang out Marisa cuz make no mistake you were a groomsman this weekend cuz I was a groomsman and it was an honor to be in your wedding and it was one of truly it was at Ohika Castle I can now say it publicly because I didn't want to say the name because I know Chris the teacher would show up with a shotgun <laughs> um um he already knew where it was yeah he knew where it was somehow he did research some the kids creep kids creep just kid we love you we love you Chris um so I knew I didn't want to say it live but it was at, it was at Ohika Castle and it was truly one of the best weddings I'd ever been to. And I'm, I'm really happy that at the last minute you chose not to invite Zach Isis because that would have ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually got married uh, really Greek, Greek Orthodox yeah, style. Yeah, what, what, they just sing everything, huh? Yeah, that was sing. the first time it's just every, but even like, hello, welcome to the Greek church. They do this, you tell me the Catholics don't do that? We don't sing every word. No. Because we're you, busy sucking cocks. Yeah, yeah. But you do hit a lot of, and then the virgin said unto him, Christ, you don't do any of that? No. Okay, yeah, because the Greeks, they sing everything. And I'm, before me, we are here with Yanni, Yuani, and Brittany, and they, and now. Yeah. I like the part where he goes and god put a woman on earth because from his rib when yeah you, when you hear that you're going like do you really believe that father yeah and then he kept saying things like that he was took like, me out of it when i heard that part and it was weird and he was like you know and and he even like singing like who like the bishop was he was like and we have bishop nikos takahokos like it's like just the it's not like it's like just some guy yeah. and then he's saying um and then i like the part when he said um uh, and hopefully their match, their marital bed would never be desecrated. Yeah, it's like yeah. Hope they basically would stay is hopefully Yanni doesn't bring a fucking tooth back <laughs> and bang her in your marital bed. That's the way they used to say it back in ancient times. Yeah, hopefully this guy doesn't go and get a gumare. A gumare, cause. But I have to say, uh, your wife Brittany looked beautiful. She's peace. Yeah. Um, and uh, you're just a lucky guy. And it's just it, it was a really fantastic wedding. A couple of comedians got a little smashed, and it was a nice buffet going to a wedding for all comedians is just a buffet it's a platter of mental illness there's gonna be a few mental illnesses just on, on display, display. Yeah. it's on display you know we had a couple of our friends bring playstations i mean we're grown men we had a couple <laughs> of we have a couple of friends get so drunk that they didn't even make it to the reception yeah. we had a couple of friends not give gifts yeah we had a couple of friends you know take the bus there it's like what are you doing yeah we're I'm, at a wedding my friend uh my friend manola who i love very much from canada Who's uh, for, yeah, he's he's legally retarded. Let's just be crystal clear. Okay? I could say that. I'm a health professional. I mean, no disrespect. I'm yeah. talking about if you measured his IQ. In your professional in opinion. In my professional opinion, yeah. if I measured that man's IQ, and it's fine. It's no knock on him, but I just yeah. will say a state, a scientific fact, yeah. his IQ would be in the zone of legal retardation. Well, he, he, had, he had Yankee Adidas. He had white Adidas socks on with his shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Ari yeah. Shafir wore white converses with his suit. He did. And he showed up with an arm cast. Yeah, and he's a millionaire. He's a multi-millionaire, yeah. I'd, I'd argue. Yeah, and um, yeah. 
uh, Manolas had no way to get from the church to the reception, so he just hitched a ride on the bus with us. Yeah, he just <laughs> he just got on the bridal party bus. I mean, it was so funny. And he's wearing a jacket with a Dukes of Hazard pin on it. Yeah, I mean, it was just so funny because everybody on the bus was like, "Who's this guy now?" And it, was it just, looked like we picked up a homeless person outside yeah, of the church. You have to, because make no mistake, yeah. you have to do a lot of babysitting in your life. I do. I mean, but you, but no less you brought on yourself. That yeah. one, the other ones you had no choice. Yeah. You know, like your brother shit his pants on the dance floor. It's just what it is. That's yeah. how we know it was a good time. My brother Nico shit his pants on the dance floor. I mean, it's a 10 out of 10. Yeah. I, I can't believe. He what, was dancing his ass off and he just shook a little shit out of his ass. It's just what it is. <laughs> It's just what it is, cuz. Yeah. And then at 3 o'clock in the morning... He's a good-hearted kid. He's a good-hearted kid. At 3 o'clock in the morning, I found him wandering around the castle because he left the hotel room, and he, instead of taking his room key, he took a business card. Yeah. And he just couldn't get back in his room, so we went down to the front desk, and we got him back in his room, and he just sat up all well, night. Well, you did. You did. Yeah, I, I, I you did a, a really friend thing. Yeah, I brought... You yeah, did but, a... Because you're a good fucking kid. Yeah, I'm a good-hearted kid. Yeah. And, and let's be honest, yeah. I'm a good-hearted kid, but the only reason I really did it is because I, I had already cracked something open. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> you were done for the night. My balls were drained. I already, yeah. I already glued somebody down. Yeah. So I was good to I was good to just help guys with special needs get back into their room. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, my brother was my brother was in his tuxedo pants. Make no mistake, the underwear he had thrown into the into the waste bucket in his in his hotel room, and he was fucking free balling because he had shit his pants on the dance floor. It's just what it it's is. What cause... happened? That's how you know how good a wedding was. Yeah, that my brother shit his pants. Couple it's guys... not a fucking wedding until somebody shits their pants. Yeah, somebody shit their pants, and I'm sure. I, I... and he continued to do some bikiko. It's a bit. Yeah. He, he was dancing Greek with shit in his pants. I fucking loved it. Yeah. and I let's be honest. Yeah, I bet you I'd be willing to bet money. Joe Bartnick also shit his pants because <laughs> he good... was fucking ripped. Now this is a true story, not even a joke. Joe Bartnick, he pre-gamed, he pre-gamed the wedding with a six-pack of Miller. Let me I tell love. you what the happened. The kid's from Pittsburgh. He's Italian. He's not the classiest he's kid not walking the classiest kid. Let me just, he, but he's a good kid. He finished the story, but just because you weren't there, he went from the church. He came as kind enough to come to the ceremony, which I'm sure you like to see your friends who actually came to the ceremony. It's like that's just another level of class. Yeah. When they actually show up to the to the Greek and Andrew church. Schultz showed up wearing a Miami summer suit. Yeah, Andrew Schultz came <laughs> up like he was golfing at St. Andrew's Golf Course, and it was a black tie event. And he claimed he didn't know, but let's be honest, that kid screwed in. <laughs> he's got a fucking yarmulke underneath that hair. He screwed in, and he wanted the attention on him, and it fucking could work because everyone was looking at him in his suit and he got pictures with a few toots and more instagram followers so <laughs> so fucking shabbat shalom chalamat to fucking andrew schultz yeah, he's always thinking in content he's always thinking in content and good for you he's a smart kid and uh we love him but um in between the church the ceremony ended about three and then the reception was until about 6 30 in between that bartnick joe bartnick and paul verzi's wife Went to and Joe Bar it was Joe Barnick's idea. Went to a Seven Eleven off the side of the highway in Long Island and got a twelve pack of Miller Life and a bottle of seven ninety nine wine and a bo little bottle of Crown Royale. So that's what was going yeah. on in in Mr. Verzi's room. Yeah, is you had he was given a Miller High Life and I and I asked I said to Joe Bartnick I said would you like me to give some money down for these Miller High Lifes because you know I'm I'm just you know taking free beers and he goes this is an Anglewood just take a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Where would, where did you go and drink with a, him? Can you give that a Wei Chong Chien, yeah. please? Where, Wei Chong Chien. Yeah, he's an Italian kid from Pittsburgh. He's, yeah. he's going to say a few, uh, we're not in Inglewoods. It's yeah, just it's what just it funny. is. Yeah. Um, um, where, where where were you drinking beers? Paul Verzi and his wife's room. Oh, that's why you guys disappeared during the pictures when I, me and Brittany were taking pictures. Yeah, because because they said we had an hour, so Paul Paul sent a you text. You guys cracked open a couple of Miller High Cracked open a few Miller High Lifes, and we did a couple of shots of Crown Royale. By the way, I'd also like to say Paul Verzi's a 10 out of 10. Paul Verzi's wife, Mrs. Verzi, 10 out of 10, top-notch woman. Top-notch. The top-notch women at that wedding, I mean, you had Mrs. Verzi, top-notch, Brittany Pappas, Top notch. Francesca Salvalcano's wife, top, top notch. notch. Top notch. Liz Sergio's wife, top notch. Top you had some notch. top notch ladies. Some and regal had, women in there. You had some top, top notch ladies. And then you had a hooker or two <laughs> that wound up in my room. And it's just what it is. Yeah. We need, we need yeah. to just cackle over that. Yeah, you stay, so. No, he's, uh, I'm getting the ruling from ISIS that it's just what it it's is. It's just what it is. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what language it is, but I know it's just what it is. Well, I said, yeah. What, what was that? That was a. Uh, Esperanto. What the hell's that? I don't know what that I means. I have no idea. All right. Could be, is that like yeah. a Eskimo language or something? Probably. You're, you're getting creative, though. Yeah, it was a, it was a fun wedding. A it great was, wedding. It was definitely a, a beautiful ceremony, and I think this is the first time in the Greek Orthodox Church's history that when the groomsmen was standing on the stage, 
because uh, you know there was two lines. Yeah, there was one of the groomsmen, Chrissy Cackles, who really looked like he was waiting for the national anthem to play. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, sway back and forth like you're about to rip that suit off and get on the court. Yeah, I wanted to. You I can't I was, stand still. I was waiting him for th to throw the opening tip up. The yeah, church, and because I was going to go jump for the tip, and I have to be honest with you, looking across, I won't mention the names, but a couple of those bridesmaids. Yeah. that I had direct. That I was looking directly. Can get cracked the, open and cleaned out. There's one of them that could get cracked open. <laughs> And cleaned out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, can she get fucking correct? We were taking <laughs> photos down by Otto Kahn's pool. Yeah. And Chrissy farted and we laughed for 20 minutes. Yeah, I let even him. Even the father of the bride was there and he's a, he's a foot surgeon. He yeah. was dying laughing. He was dying laughing. The only one who had a problem was your gay brother who was like, who did that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. He had a little bit of issue, but yeah. cuz make no mistake, cuz let me just tell My you My brother's something. gay. Yeah, your brother's gay. Classy kid, though. Yeah, and guess what? He pretended to listen to you a few times. Yeah, and let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. it, he's he he's lucky that I'm a sociopath too and I know he was half caring cuz if he cuz if I was a little turned off and if I if I had a few in me, guess what would have happened at your reception? You would have cracked him open and cleaned him out. Peter would have got cracked open and cleaned out because he was paying attention to me. And cuz, make no mistake, I'll do anything for content. Yeah. And it would be funny to crack your brother open for the Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> now you're thinking like Andrew Schultz. Yeah. That's what we got to do. Yeah, cuz. Cuz your brother hates you and nobody knew it except me. <laughs> He just made up. He just made up that he loved you at his wedding speech, and I knew he fucking hates you because I seen the text. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we got into a big blowout right before, but what are you gonna do? We're what brothers. Are you gonna do? It yeah. just happens. It just happens. Everyone was under a lot. It's just what, it's what it is. is. You know, you've said it before. Your brother Nico um, is the only one with a pure heart. You yeah. and your other brother, pieces Meat of shit. Trick. Yeah, we got Meat pieces trick. of shit yeah. that should be, you know, that should just be drawn and quartered mm -hmm. and sent to the to the corners of the kingdom. And your brother's got the good beating heart, but. You know, it's what it is. Yeah, because my parents had their own business, so on occasions, yeah. I was raised by an illiterate Greek woman who spoke uh, no English and couldn't read or write. Her name was Yulia. Yeah. She was really smart and wise in other ways, but right. make no mistake, she was a Greek villager. Yeah, she would. And I, she would sleep in the basement sometimes, because my parents sometimes would work till 12, 1, sometimes. Yeah. On occasion, my mother would sleep at the office. And she would. And she said yeah. that when my mother was old, the only one out of the three of us that would bring my mother a glass of water was Nico. That's it. Yeah. yeah. The other two of us, she confirmed to my parents that me and Peter are pieces of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Nico, and I could say, yeah, Nico's just a good kid who just, he loves he loves a can of Coke. And he and loves, he loves to sweets. shit his pants. He loves to shit his pants. He loves sweets. He loves law and order. And yeah. he loves cranking into the bridesmaids. It's just what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, cuz. You, you saw him drinking Diet Coke, huh? And you. he's been in South Jersey so long now, he calls him Diet Coke. He goes, Diet can, Coke. I get, can I get a Diet Coke? Diet Coke. Can I have a Diet Great. Coke? I loved it. I loved the wedding, man. Um, you look great in tux. Because was... he didn't sleep a wink because he didn't know where his suitcase was. So I mean... he was obsessing over his suitcase, and he just watched Law and Order all night. He yeah. did not sleep because all he could stop, couldn't stop thinking about where his fucking suitcase yeah, was. Yeah, let's be honest. When he said to me, when he, when I found him at 3 o'clock in the morning, and he was wandering outside, and I got him back up to his room, he said, I was just waiting for Peter to bring... I was just waiting for my older brother to bring me back um, my, my suitcase. suitcase. And I said, let me tell you the something truth. Something about your older brother. Like, let me tell you something about... Let me tell you something about your older brother, Nico. I said, I'm going to get you into this room, but your brother's not coming back because he's on Grinder right now. <laughs> so he's probably in some other town just catching a blowy, and he's a top-shelf gay, but make no mistake, he doesn't care about your suitcase right now because he's looking to get banged out. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'll get you in this room, and then you just sit up, and you watch Law & Order, yeah. and you do what you need to do. I'll see you at breakfast in the morning. Because we look like a couple of pieces, though. Where, yeah. Are we going to have good-looking fucking trans kids? Yeah, no, because you, I've got to be honest, you and Britain, you looked it you're such a great looking couple and you two up on your on your dais it looked like you said regal it looked like a like a king and queen truly yeah. i mean she looked phenomenal yeah. and you look like a fucking piece yeah because let's be honest now yeah, that i'm married got, yeah I'm screwed in you're screwed in yeah yeah and she what and and she got cracked open she <laughs> i mean <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just what it is. We all knew it was happening. Yeah, you don't. Everybody knows because your Chrissy should be on. Should be Patreons. Yeah, that's your new nickname yeah. is Chrissy. I'm Chrissy can't, Patreons. Can't save it for the Patreons. You just let them fly. I just let them fly. Yeah. Cause, but it's it's a funny, interesting thing. Like, cause, cause if you're a stranger, meaning most of the people that listen to this, yeah, 
you benefit a lot from listening to our podcast. Yeah. If you happen to be in our lives, yeah. you're just going to be pissed with us. You're just going to be pissed off because because all- Chrissy goes, it's Chrissy green lights, and there is no fucking brake pedal in his car. I'm just going. It was a funny thing because I was thinking about it during the wedding. You I just sh- told everyone who listens to our podcast that my wife got cracked open and cleaned up by me. But I know, but everybody assumes but she's my wife. So it's the wedding night, and we knew it's like, it's an interesting thing to think about. Like, obviously, I'm a dad. Me and Paul were talking about because we have girls. It's like on our daughter's wedding night like we just like she's gonna get cracked open and there's nothing legally a father can do anymore it's like <laughs> he just knew that his do- yeah, he just knew when he saw you two going up in that elevator after the wedding that she was just gonna get cracked open <laughs> and he couldn't do anything about it because yeah i had to clean my wife out yeah it's just what it is yeah yeah so everybody knew it and it's just it's great it i'm was- sure she appreciated it because you know she's because my my wife wow i gotta get used to calling her my wife because you got a ring on your finger right yeah. now yeah. And it's just, it's it's taken a little bit to get used to. I got to yeah. be honest with you. It's taken a little bit for me to get used to that ring. Yeah. And you know, now that I got two feet in New York City, Bang, yeah. I'm pretty confident I'm a straight kid. Yeah. Because when I was in Long Island, mm-hmm. you can't be sure if you're a 100% straight kid. You never know. Because Long Island kids, what they do is they take out their insecurities and they put it on hating minorities. It's just what it is. So when you got two feet in Long Island, you can push down the gay right. with rationalizing that you know, you're know you taking out on minorities because Long Island kids, that's just how they are. Right. But when you got two feet in the city, you're back in a diverse situation and you can't fucking push down your insecurities like that. So the true you shines and I felt like a straight kid when I got two feet back in the ridge. Yeah. So I think I'm leaning straight. Yeah. Just like my politics. I'm left but I'm more straight but I lean left. Yeah, but you- I'm center but I lean left so I'm straight but I lean gay. Yeah, you straight <laughs> but you lean gay it's what it is. Yeah. And I'm and I'm the opposite. I'm straight. Just Republican. Yeah, I'm straight but I lean German. <laughs> it's just what it is. <laughs> Can I get a Wei Shan Chien, yeah. please? I mean, Zach, what <laughs> the Wei fuck Shan are you doing? Because let's just be honest. There was about four or five comics at that wedding who pretend to be Democrats but are hardcore Republicans. Yeah, and let's be honest. There's also a couple of wedding. Uh, there was also a couple of comics here that didn't need to be there. Okay, I'm talking to you, Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> we should have had Ted Alexandro. It's what it is. <laughs> because I really feel bad that. Ted, I, Ted Alexandro should have been at that wedding. Were you in Ted Alexandro's wedding? No, I wasn't. You weren't invited. I wasn't, but I, I should have invited Ted. I love Ted Alexandro. He's a yeah. fucking stand-up good guy. Yeah. And I shared a good experience with him in South Africa. He came with me to South Africa yeah. when I did those shows. It's okay. And, and you know what? He, Ted is just a real guy. Yeah. Ted's a, Ted is a real person in this world right. filled with a lot of phony people. And it kind of makes me sick to my stomach that I didn't invite Ted Alexander. It's okay. Did what, now? Because I, I, I said because you had a couple of dropouts um, that you could not still invite him and just be honest. But Brittany Brit- said you can't do Brittany that. Brittany vetoed. Yeah, because because yeah. Brittany make Brittany knows the class thing to do. Yeah, and you know Brittany just didn't know that Joe Bartnick was gonna bring a stranger to my wedding. It's what it is. <laughs> But it was a fucking, I mean... It was a 10 out of 10. It was a 10 out of 10. The food I mean, was unbelievable. No, yeah, it, was, it was a Greek wedding. We did some Greek dancing. Um, Chrissy cleaned out. Yeah, we I, were actually... I got married, actually, in a castle. I mean, yeah. Ohika Castle is a castle. Which is it, what the episode is on today, the history of Ohika Castle, because yeah, it's wild. It's the history of Ohika Castle and the history of its fucking uh, founder and its uh, benefactor and the person who owned it and lived in it, and his name... Is Super Jew Otto Kahn. <laughs> German German Jew kid. A German Jew kid? Yeah. Gross. Born in Germany originally. Right. Well, his parents um, uh, emigrated to the States, but then they went back to Germany and had him. Mm-hmm. So he was born in Germany, then he came to the States, but he grew up in Germany, then he became a British citizen, and then after that, he became a United, citizen, a United States citizen. Because right. when you're rich... And you're a banker, and right. you're you just make a lot of money. You right. can just become a citizen of whatever country you want. It's just what it is. Yeah. Money, money. He was, he's, he's a citizen of three fucking countries. Yeah, money could just do whatever. Yeah. Now I heard that the reason why he built that because because when because when you see this residence, when you see Ohika Castle, I, what I saw and well, we got to tell him where it is. Well, it's it's on it's in Long Island, it's in yeah. Huntington, Long Island. Huntington, Long Island. So when you see, it, first of all, it's the second largest private residence in the United States, still yeah. to this day. It's yeah. the second largest built uh, private residence. Built private residence. Who's the first? Was it Carnegie in North Carolina? It's somebody in North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. can you look that up? I yeah. think it's Carnegie, North Carolina. No, okay. So that, but what you know, what I noticed was initially when I stepped in there, I said, whomever built this, if this was just for one man, he was motivated by hate. 
he yeah. was he he was mad at something and someone. And then when you told me that the reason why he built that was because the golf the uh uh the country club down the street didn't accept him because he was a Jew, it all made sense. He built that to be like fuck you. Yeah, I don't need this. Yeah, yeah. I'm not completely sure if it was the country club in Long Island. That well, I mean, that. this is the history of Hyena, so we're going to say what it, it is. But it, but I'm pretty sure it was in Jersey because he lived, I think, in Morristown, Jersey, and he was trying to like, but it was like super anti semit uh, anti semitic there, and they wouldn't let a Jew join join the um the club right. over there. So he went over to Long Island, and yeah, he built that place as a fuck you. He had his own golf course, his own farm on oh, there, beautiful. his own fucking landing strip. Yeah, the kid had a landing strip. We could fly his fucking private plane and we're talking about the turn of the 20th century talking about the early 1900s kid fucking he was a refugee after the german rev his parents left after the german revolution mm -hmm. the cons right they left they were emigrants and refugees from germany right. but uh little did these jews know that uh that there was going to be another a bunch of jews who were going to tr be trying to get out in a couple years because of adolf yeah so jews just have a raw fucking deal and for some reason I, it's really wild. Fucking people just keep going after the Jews. I know. Well, you they know, kind of do their own thing, and they. You got to admit, Ari Shafir is kind of right. They just kind of smarter, and they just kind of crush it. Yeah, and it's just what it is. And people kind of hate them because they're head of the class, and everyone hates head of the class. Yeah, I mean, Ashkenazi Jews. I mean, Ari confirmed that they are just a little bit smarter. They have a higher IQ, and it, it, that's true. It's just that's just true. You know, it's just true. That's just true. I come. He didn't even know that. I told him that. He's like, really? He's like, yeah. makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. yeah, it's true. They did a study in Ashkenazi Jews. Yeah, uh, as far as groups go, have the high highest iq of all people yeah and then we for some but, reason but the thing is you know we world needs to be balanced because then when we went down when we went downstairs to the man cave when you were when you were upstairs with your wife after the wedding reception we all went downstairs to otto Kahn's man cave that he that he had built in the i don't know if that was his they might have put that in later no but but the guy said that that you know it's obviously been updated and it's modern with pool tables now but that was his that's where he would go he would oh hang, he smoked sticks down there hang, well i don't know if he smoked sticks but he would hang out with his guys and there was like his little parlor and he would have <clears> he, that's where he would have his boy because look when you're that rich let's make no mistake you're gonna have a couple slave boys there that you bang out yeah it's just what, it gets weird when you get that rich. yeah so he would just fucking bang on a few little slave kids there and then um but you know because you know like as you said um you know ashkenazi jews like ari shafir have a higher iq but they have lower immune systems because once we lit up those cigars he started coughing and smoking and then and and, and and his eyes got all watery and then he got an uber and left he had to leave so, ari yeah. yeah 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 but because you know he's just he didn't have the jury because yeah. they snivel yeah. you know they <laughs> Give me a little yeah. way song. I mean, Zach, just, you have to be. I mean, if you don't do it, here's the deal. Whenever just, he says anything Jewish, you got to remember he's a German kid. So we need like a resounding way song chain. Yeah, because Zach just he doesn't. Again, like we've said, he a thousand lets times, the Jews' statements just fly. Every other national, anything yeah. anybody says, he's like, okay, this is genau das was es ist. <laughs> yeah, he gets. <laughs> He gets way. That was shy. German, by yeah, the way. We do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we oh, do. Oh yeah, yeah. But but for the Jews, he just because he's he's just it's we what make the a muzzy joke. joke. We make a muzzy joke. He's right on it. Yeah, he's right on it. If I say like like muzzy's a fucking repressive, regressive idiot, he's all over it, right? Yeah. But if you say hey, Jews are snivelers, there's silence. Yeah, because look. He yeah, because he doesn't know what he doesn't understand the problem. He's no. like, oh, what is that? I, I thought they were. He goes, now these guys are finally talking. <laughs> yeah, that's what he is. Yeah, that's when he checks back in. Yeah, he's yeah. just completely. He just see. He hears a statement in his mind. He goes, period, or he goes exclamation point. Yeah, that's another button he wishes he had was exclamation point. <laughs> yeah, he he has to be told. Yeah, he has to be told Wei now. Wei Zhong Jing, and he's going, yeah. okay, guys, I didn't get the joke. Yeah, but I'll do it because you're paying me an extra twenty five dollars to not fuck up. <laughs> Cause, Cause this is the thing Zach Isis needs to know. We're a couple screwed in Jews right now. Because by the way, I just and as this podcast grows, yeah. Isis is gonna grow with us. Yeah, it's gonna grow with but us. But if he gets another fucking finger tattooed, we're gonna replace him with a kid who's got clean hands. It's just what it is. Because yeah. on this marriage Monday, I gotta be honest with you, you have got a full head of hair. The most hair I've ever seen you have in your life is today on this Monday. Uh, this is the first full day. Because yesterday doesn't count. We were no. just recovering. Yeah. This is the first full day. I'm Yanni Husbands. You're Yanni Husbands now? Did I look cute at my wedding? You look cute. You look fucking jacked out in your tuxedo. I did. Yeah. You yeah. look jacked out. And my wife was an absolute 100% fucking peace. Peace. Yeah, she hasn't eaten a carb since last year. Oh, yeah. She's she, just been drinking mustard. Yeah, she just been, yeah, <laughs> she's been drinking mustard and that's it. Yeah, I mean, she just put mustard on lettuce for about one year. But it's funny. It's funny that when I- Today, she had three cakes and 14 bagels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Th this morning, uh, yesterday morning when we were at the breakfast, I said, you can finally eat now. She said, yeah, I- she opened up our breakfast on the first day of her marriage. 
married life, she opened up with two slices of cake for breakfast. <laughs> it's just, just what it is. Yeah, yeah. she's because um, she loves sweets and she's got to push it down and she's got the she's got a lot of willpower because so she, she gets, loves sweets like I love sweets. Yeah, she pushes down like you push down the gate. She pushes down her love for sweets. Yeah, but make no mistake, today's her birthday, so I'm not out of the woods. Is she back at work yet? Or There's she still flowers in a card waiting for her right now in yeah. a in a house that looks like it got ransacked by burglars. It's just what it yeah, is. The house is fucking retarded. Is, is retarded she retarded? Messy. Is right she now. at work? Did she go back to work today? No, she took today off too. I mean, she's just that girl's just taking the last two months off for her wedding. Yeah, she. Yeah. Has. Yeah, it was an event. It was. You're rarely gonna see a wedding that good. No, it was I great. Mean, the food was phenomenal. That food was great. Oh, Hika Castle. Yeah, it's just. And I heard a lot of comedians were making the, uh, the jokes about it, and it's hilarious because Derek Jeter almost had his wedding there. Right. So people were going looking around, going like, "This place was almost good enough for Derek Jeter." <laughs> it's like that's how nice about it. he was looking up at ceilings, going. Uh, if they were only like two or three feet higher, this would have been perfect. If the grounds were just a little more ornate, it's just that's how nice it was. Almost nice enough for Derek Jeter, which right. is pretty goddamn nice. Nice, yeah. It's a beautiful place to get married. Brian McKnight got married there. Joey Fatone got married there. Uh, one of the Jonas Brothers got married there, and the Robo Cheese Man, aka Peanut Head Papas, got married there this Saturday night past so yeah yeah that's what it is i'm a married kid yeah because it was um it was great the cocktail hour was like it was like crazy yeah I, i've never seen that much food in my life yeah i mean i mean just you had, a, you had an italian station a greek station what do they do with all that food after they're done do they throw that out or they give it to the homeless no i mean maybe, what do they do with all that food maybe the, i'm they sure throw it out they, they do, do, right? I'm sure some of the workers have so to take American. it. American, yeah. I'm sure it's work, but like it's just American. They just dump it on the lawn, yeah, and let fucking uh, cougars and uh, yeah and uh, coyotes probably come and just eat whatever's left. Some of the workers have to take it, though. I mean, have to. They have to. I mean, it's all that beautiful food. I mean, there was just like a. I mean, that the cocktail it had the dessert room. The dessert room was something of legend. The you're you're not going to see something like no, that ever again no, in your life. No, I, I, I it was like Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory. Yeah, I, I, I hit, I hit tiramisu. I hit, I hit two slices of tiramisu. You let loose because you, your balls were drained. My balls were drained, so I went back. Your down. Balls were potato chips. Potato chips. I hit the tiramisu. I hit two slices of cake on the tiramisu. Um, I hit the chocolate cake. Um, I hit, I hit one or two cupcakes, and then what else did I hit? And then I hit a cannoli. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I got, I got hit. Yeah. And then in the morning, I had six. I'm not lying to you. Six waffles with three scoops of whipped cream on each. Yeah, you let go. Yeah, the whipped cream was fantastic the next morning. Yeah, it I had a few fantastic. cigarettes. It's just what it is. It's just what it is. <laughs> yeah, you know, we promised that he was going to stop smoking cigarettes um, once he got married, but he had one today. It's what it is. <laughs> Because <laughs> my friends from college, Todd and Jamel, were there. Didn't give you a wedding gift. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, uh, Todd spent most of his wedding being upset because when he was in the bathroom, somebody at the somebody who was in the bathroom mistook him for the bathroom attendant. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it really ruined his experience. Yeah. And we just can't under, can't determine whether it was racist or if it was just, it happens because the kid was dressed in a tuxedo. Yeah. What do you think? Given it's Long Island <sighs> and there was Italians and Greeks there, I think there's a good chance it was just flat out racist. I think, yeah. Yeah, I'm I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's. I would lean that that was probably unfortunately yeah. towards racism. Yeah. But you know, I think it was in. Uh, I don't think it was malicious, but it's just. It's yeah. just Long Island. It's just Long Island yeah. shit. They live in a bubble. Long Island's a different country. It's a I different, mean, it really, truly is. If you were listening to this and you're not from New York and you have no familiarity with Long Island and the difference between Long Island and the rest of New York, Long Island is behind Brooklyn. It's like Brooklyn's fat ass. Right. Imagine Chrissy D is New York City and that big Aunt Jemima ass on his backside. That's Long Island. Yeah. Now, you're never going to go from the butt to the fucking Viking head because it's just too far to travel. Because make no mistake, if you've ever seen a profile of Chrissy D, his body's in one room and his butt's in another. It's, it's yeah. too far to travel, so they just don't leave the island. Yeah. Plus, the traffic keeps them in there because the traffic's too much. It's too much. And you've got to go through the whole island to get out anywhere. Yeah. And you really see it. And there's only... there's It's pretty. It's like, an, it's, like its own country. It's its own country. And there's, on, there's only blacks in about three or four towns on the whole island. Yeah, the rest of them is just where Italy, the Italian-Americans have retreated yeah, to. Yeah, it's just where they retreated to. So there's, yeah. there's a there's a tinge of racism out there. It's just what it is. Just a tinge. And it was just out in that castle. So unfortunately, I think that's probably what happened. The whole island votes Trump. Yeah, one hundred percent. They don't even votes. learn the issues. They no. just go. We're going red. Yeah, we're going red. It's so. Staten Island and Long Island go red. That's just what it is. Yeah. Um, 
I will say the only thing that I will say, if there's any constructive criticism on the wedding, is how little Ohika Castle cared about the groom and the groomsmen. I mean, they just don't care about the guys. It is so funny. Yeah. yeah. When wedding venues are thinking about their Yelp reviews, their Yelp reviews for the future, they don't care. They know no grooms. They know no grooms are looking up reviews yeah. to hear other grooms go, hey, they just let us stand in a hallway and not know what to do for an hour. Yeah. They know the only people reading those reviews are brides. Yeah. And they're only hearing reviews from brides. Yeah. So it's like everything is done for the bride, from the photographers to the flowers to the DJ. Everyone we talk to before this wedding barely even makes eye contact with they me. They don't care. Because they know I just don't matter. And yeah. Chrissy will tell you what happened when we got there. It was fucking 10 out of 10 hilarious. I'm getting married on that day. Yeah. We showed up, and it was like, boom. Yeah, it was just like... You, you honest, we didn't know what to do. We didn't know what to do. We didn't know where to go. We were told specifically, because I make no mistake, make no mistake... Brittany, Giannis's wife, sent us an itinerary and a schedule that two days before that had to be every fucking detail was lined up, okay? I mean, the only thing missing was the swastika on that thing. She, <laughs> Way so she, 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 she had fucking <laughs> rules and regulations that you had to abide by. Or, she was Himmler. Or, yeah, because she was Himmler. Make no mistake, you weren't going to be allowed into the wedding. So you just had to, so I paid attention to every fucking detail. Because you're German and it was right up your the, alley. It was right up my you alley. You got a little bit of a creeper when you saw that fucking itinerary. Yeah, you Because that's how you are. You're built like 13. Fifteen minutes of boxing with Serge, four minutes to bang out this dude who flew in from Chicago, three minutes to play with my daughter, ten minutes to say what's up to Yanni, get a smoothie, bite my nails for four minutes, and then do fifteen spots, and then also go back and take Liz because her knee fell off. <laughs> Wild, yeah. Um, so uh, it's, you're a German kid. I'm a German kid, and it said specifically. Um, to be there at 9 a.m. To, to start to get ready and take pictures, and the breakfast will be served in the groom suite. So we get to the groom suite. There's no breakfast. They don't even have our bags there. So we don't eat anything. Wait until a second. Just tell them. I went, we put the suitcases on the thing, and I said, uh, hey, yeah, we, we just stood around in the lobby for a second, and I go like, and I was like, uh, do you know what we're supposed to? And he goes, who are you? I go, I'm the groom. He didn't even react. He goes, oh, you're supposed to check in. So they made me check in at the front desk. Yeah. Like, I'm a fucking kid from out of town. Yeah. I mean, I'm this castle's going to be mine tonight. There's yeah. nobody else here. Yeah. It's all about my wedding. I'm the groom. They yeah. go, you got to go check in at the desk. So then they, we check in at the desk, and then they give, they give us the groom suite, which was fucking hilarious. It was an empty one-room fucking hotel room. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's up in the bride's fucking suite. Yeah. That's where me and her stayed. It it's 15 rooms. It was it's 15 beautiful. 15 rooms with the views of the garden with three decks. I mean, four bathrooms, a hot tub, heated floors. I mean, if you saw the difference between where she was getting ready <laughs> oh and God. where we were getting, our fuck, where we looked like we were getting ready, looked like a one bedroom in Sunset Park. Yeah, it really did. And there was no food or coffee. There was no food or coffee, which they said would finally, by the time it got to about 1145, when we had to get ready to go to the reception, all the crews were like, we got to eat. And then make no mistake, what they showed up with was a few turkey wraps and a fucking <laughs> And, and a couple of Keurig pods of coffee that make no mistake, the manager told one of the valet guys, just start looking in trunks for food. <laughs> And that's what they found. Yeah. Because they just came up with a few globs of mustard and a few turkey wraps, which one of them was half eaten, and they just threw it at us. Yeah. I mean, they brought food. Imagine we were all working at like a car wash, mm -hmm. and the car wash decided to have an office party. Yeah. That's what the food was like. That's what it was. That's what it was like. Or it was like when you go when you go to like AutoZone and you're waiting for your car, and they just have food and coffee out. <laughs> that's what it was. That's what Just it was. in the waiting room. And I'm the group. It was the groom. Because when we when they threw us in the library, they put us in the library for pictures. We were in the library where there were other people having meetings about whether they were going to book Ohika Castle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it just was, they didn't care about us. It's so funny how like that, I noticed that. I noticed even the next morning at breakfast, like we're all sitting down and they're just moving in more people to take a look at the space. Yeah. They're like, we don't care. You guys are done. Yeah. We have your money. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, so it was funny. But, it was but other than that, it was a fucking 10 out of 10. But the night was great because you have the whole fucking thing. But yeah. The wedding is all about the bride. That's yeah. all is cared about. The groom. Basically, I'm just an extra in her movie. Yeah. She yeah. is the CEO. The marriage is her company. The wedding is her company. Yes. And she is the CEO of that company. And we are all just measly employees. That's all we were. We of were her fantasy. We were just employees in her business, but it was uh 
It was great. And, it, and make no mistake, I will tell you 100% the castle was haunted. I got to be honest. Yeah? Haunted castle, yeah. Yeah, we talked about well, it. Like, it's a Jewish person that owned it. So what happened? Did you fall asleep? And you're a German kid, so you know they came out and they went boogie, 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 boo. <laughs> yeah. How you doing there, Nazi face? We're here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You remember me? Yeah. You thought that food that you ate before wasn't kosher. Guess what, Nazi face? <laughs> it was kosher. Tricks on you. You just ate Jewish food. You just had a little bit of salmon. But guess what? It was kosher. I was blessed by a rabbi. So boogie, 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 boo. Because <laughs> you, yeah. you, with your face, you scared you. Cause did I look fucking? Did I look cute at, in that tux? Cause I don't. You fucking. You, you look like a cute kid and make no mistake. It took us about four hours to get that bow tie around that fucking medicine ball head of yours. Yeah, my bow tie kept flipping the other way because my neck just kept pushing it over. We had to use Marco because Marco was the only person who was tall enough to have a vantage point to see how he could maneuver that bow tie around your head. This is a true story. Yeah. We could not get that bow tie. I'm not joking. No, it's just true. We could not get the bow tie around got, Chris's head. It got to you the, got a big fucking head and a big fucking ass and a weird tent. It got to, it got to the point. It got to the point. Your feet are broken. It's what it is. <laughs> I got genital warts. Because <laughs> it got to the point where we could not get this bow tie around my head because my head's just too big that Giannis was contemplating texting Brittany to ask if we could go no bow tie. I mean, that's yeah. how serious the situation was. Yeah, I mean, it was the, the bow tie. I almost changed the wedding. Yeah, it was a pretty funny situation because we couldn't get your bow tie on. Ched destroyed his bow tie because he's too anxious and twitchy. Yeah. And he's got to smoke cigarettes and, you know, whatever. He's, he just undid his bow tie. He just undid his bow tie and ripped it apart. So there was a point we were actually going to figure out if we were going to go no blood tie, which which would have, Brittany would have came down and killed everybody. Yeah, she would have actually shot people. You know yeah. what's interesting though, cuz? Yeah. You know what I felt the day before the wedding? I felt what? something very interesting, right? I was driving to do uh, Gotham, you know, the yeah. the VR show that I host every Thursday. Yeah. And um, I was driving there and I had this feeling, I realized, so the day before my wedding, or before the rehearsal, I was right. like, I've never felt that valuable to mm -hmm. someone. Yeah. Because this wedding is Britney's dream since she was a little girl. Right. And we're almost there. She's almost there. She's worked hard on her body to get into that dress. Right. The whole thing. And I was like, if I just crash into this wall right now, yeah. I could ruin everything. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I figured, like, even if I put myself in the hospital by driving into the wall and had, like, full body paralysis, yeah. I guarantee you she would have ran into that hospital, stole my body. Yeah. And just had me held up like weekend at Bernie's. Yeah. To fulfill the dream. It's just nothing was gonna get in the way of what was gonna happen. No chance. Yeah. Yeah. If I would used to mess. If I was dead, she would have just got the closest thing that looks like me, Pete Lee. Yeah. And she would have said, You're Greek now, Pete Lee. And yeah. just you're Giannis. You're Giannis, it's just what it is. Yeah. And he would have went, Ookie, I'm from uh, Wisconsin. Sure. Yeah, cause I was thinking about that too. Like let's just say like like a groomsman died. Yeah. Somebody just died. Brittany, it would, there would be a tear shed, yeah. and then the show would go on. The show would go on. It just is not nothing was gonna stop that. Brides are cold right before yeah. the wedding. They're yeah. fucking cold. It's also a great time to kid if you're a criminal yeah kidnap a groom yeah if you kidnap a groom the day before the wedding everything's been paid yeah i guarantee you whatever ransom you ask for yeah. she's gonna pay it yep because that kid has to be on that altar it has to be she will pay that ransom her father will pay it he'll pay that ransom i don't know why more grooms don't get kidnapped right before the wedding because how, how's britney's pops feeling right now bank account might be a little light yeah kid, that was an expensive wedding but the kids got some cash because were there some mob guys out there i didn't notice any mob guys were they there did they yeah, show up i mean that's not for the that's not for the free that's you know that's not for the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're Chrissy Cackles. Yeah, we don't talk about all that right now. Yeah, but I mean, we're not naming names. No, we're not naming names, and we're just staying away from it. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, but it's Long Island, so you do the math. Dan, yeah. Her father's Sicilian, you do the math. Yeah, it's yeah. what it is. Because Long Island. Wild! Yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. It's just what it is. You know, it's another thing about Ohika Castle and Otto Kahn. Mm -hmm. He was actually the inspiration for the Monopoly Man. Which is crazy. It's wild as that. Yeah. I mean, he was an interesting cat. I mean, you're talking about this guy had his hand in railroads. Yeah. Um, that was big industry back then, the railroads. Industry, yeah, I mean, the guy had a landing strip on his property. He built 
he built Ohika Castle, right. which is huge. He built it to be extremely fireproof, which is funny because after he died, uh, the military academy, t- it was a military academy for a little while, and then it was like a sanitation worker's retirement. Which, is, fun, hilarious. which is hilarious. Just, old school New York sanitation garbage man just going out to that Ohika Castle. Yeah, just sitting there playing cards. Yeah, just like, look at his fucking place. Yeah. Wow, look at his ceilings. They play a poker, and one of them go, can I get a water? Yeah, can I get a water? Yeah, in the fucking ca- To think yeah. about garbage men in that castle yeah. is a 10 out of 10. Yeah, guys. So look, you owe me twenty dollars from the poker game yesterday, but while we're at it, can you pass me a water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the kids were drinking coffee and they were talking about the good old days. Yeah, talk about the Yanks. Talk about the Yanks. Look, this look, we did what we could with these rats, but these fucking rats on the ground, there's nothing you could do about those things. Yeah. Those things you know they said a few times those things is like Chinese. Those things is like Chinese. It was a f- they said cause they, was, I, I guarantee you because it was in the seventies when the sound. Can I get a fucking Wei Shang Xing, please? Wei Shang I guarantee you that I guarantee you this was said and this is just historically accurate, so it's just gonna it's like a play. I'm just gonna say what they said because I know they said it. I guarantee you in the seventies they they were in there watching the Yankees on, and they said, Reggie Jackson, they said, even though he's a Mulian, the guy can hit. <laughs> Wei Song Xian. There's no way that didn't get said. That got fuck- said. Yeah, we talking that- about former uh, sanitation workers. That's just what's going to happen. It's just what those guys said. And unfortunately, yeah. you know, that's a, obviously a fucking racial story. And it's a Wei Shan Chin, Wei Shan Chin. Yeah. But I just wanted to be historically accurate. Those New York sanitation workers definitely said that in it, the 70s. <laughs> Am I wrong? You're not wrong. They said it. it, it there was, I know they said it. There was a few racial slurs that if those walls could talk, we would hear a couple racial slurs. Yeah, it's just what it it's is. It's just what it is. But before it was a sanitation retirement home or whatever it was, and a military academy. It was the one of the homes to the fucking multi-billionaire banker uh, Otto Kahn, who was the German kid, but he was Jewish. But he was Jewish, and good so, for fucking him for building that shit because no, because there were a bunch of anti-Semite losers. Yeah, he made that as a statement, like yeah, like Chris said, you could tell it was it's so grand and lavish, it mm-hmm. looks like a chateau. His pool's fucking sick. He it, definitely had toots over in that 100% pool. Hundred percent, he yeah. had toots. And it's one of the I don't know if you guys have ever been there. If any of the listeners have ever been to um Versailles in France, the Palace of uh, Versailles, King Louis the Fourteenth Palace, it reminded me of that. Like yeah. the gardens, it looked like Versailles. Well, you roll, truly you roll up in that pathway. It's like lined with 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 trees. It's yes. so gorgeous. Then you roll up to this cobblestone entrance. It's a castle. It's a castle. And then there's like grounds like Versailles. I mean, the gardens are like Versailles. Right. Those gardens were bulldozed and then recreated by the people that bought it now and operate it now or whatever. Right. They lost it. You can go Google the whole history of Ohika Castle. It's past- yeah, we're going we're to talk about a lot more in-depth, like a lot of more fun facts behind the scenes stuff if you go to patreon.com slash Bay We're Boys. screwed in. We're screwed in because Yanni's married now and make no mistake, guys, make no mistake, like I said two two episodes ago, Right now, if you go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys and be a part of the matriarchy, be a part of the cackle, be a part of the cuss community, that's where we're doing all the behind the scenes stuff. That's where if you're a true blue fan, because right now if you're listening to this episode for free, you're a two. You're a prostitute. It's what it is. If you join the Patreon and then you have cleansed yourself, you've doused your body in witch hazel, and you are non toot. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. We are finally at $40,000 a year. When we get to 100000 I will show a picture of my open ass. No, Chris. And Giannis will have a video of him putting Zach's toes in his mouth for three seconds it's what it is no you're not going to put a picture of your open asshole on the patreon then i'm going to put a picture of my colonoscopy report up there that's better yeah i got that. i got videos of that yeah you could do an x-ray of that but you can't spread your ass cheeks and put that on the page but what if we just get if zach gets and i don't my, even know why you're saying that because but what if zach gets the camera lens right up into my hole and just takes a picture there and you can't tell the difference <laughs> <laughs> no that's not that doesn't fix the situation well can i post a picture of my butt yeah, but let's save that for a thousand. Okay, but not your not your well, no a hundred thousand a year. Butt. Not your naked. No, a hundred thousand a year. Hundred thousand a year. But yeah, we're not going to do naked. We got to think. Zach Isis' toes in my mouth for three seconds. That's a good one because that's fucking gross. Yeah, I'd rather jump out of a window. Yeah. So we have to think of something that you. Um. What about uh? I'll do a toes in your mouth. I'll do a video of um um. Let's think of something that you would really make you uncomfortable. I'll reenact me getting skull fucked. No, I'll we, have I'll have my I'll have the abuser come. No, He'll I just hit me. I figured out what we're gonna do. What are we gonna do when we get to what do you want to say? Hundred thousand, hundred thousand dollars a year. Hundred thousand dollars. So a we're year. at forty thousand dollars a year. Yeah, we're at forty thousand dollars a year right now. When we get to how many pay? So we got to do it more by Patreon numbers. Well, four, we have four hundred and ninety-seven Patreons. So you want to say a thousand Patreon members? When we get to a thousand Patreon, when we because that would be probably about a hundred thousand yeah. anyway. When we double our Patreons to a thousand a year, what we're gonna do is we are going to take Chrissy over to Andrew Schultz's parents' studio, and he's going to do a whole 
ballet dance to Debbie Gibson music. Done. It's just what I'll it do is. It. A whole routine that his mom- In spandex with my tit out. In spandex, in a fucking tutu. Yeah, with my tit out. With your tit and your fucking, yeah, no top, just a tutu. No, 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 I'll put a leotard on so you can see my tit. Yeah, we want to see the tit <laughs> and bare feet. Yeah. And we'll get close-ups of the feet and dead. Yeah. You're going to lose a few toots, but you're going to gain a few beers, and then a couple months will go by, you'll get some new toots. Because, make no mistake, I forgot to tell you this, last night for the first time I did yoga. You'll be a toot and a tutu. A toot and a tutu. So now I'm Chrissy Yogas. I forgot to tell you this. I'm Chrissy Yogas. I got a private yoga instructor that comes to the house. So she came to the house yesterday. And you cracked her open and cleaned her out. I did not crack her open and clean her out, but I probably will. <laughs> but I did not crack her open. <laughs> but, you know, you have to do yoga. You have to take your shoes and so you have to take your socks off so you can get you know, feel the energy of the ground, and make no mistake, 30 minutes into the uh, yoga session, she made me put my socks back on. She didn't want to see them. Well, she said she claimed that it's because she thinks it might be... But she saw them moving well, without your feet moving. Yeah, because yeah. my feet... Well, because I was getting sweaty, and my feet were sliding because I didn't have a yoga mat. She said, put the socks on, it'll be better grip, but I know it's because my feet were gross. Yeah, your feet look broken. It's yeah. just kind of what the situation we're talking about Because if I start doing yoga, though, and start getting flexible, I mean, it's going to start to get unreal. Yeah. What? I'm Chrissy Yogas. What do you mean? Because why don't you start coming to these classes with me? Boxing, yoga. I think I'm going to start coming to boxing for the workout. With Paul Yassi? Yeah. First, I got to quit smoking. No, I'm just kidding. I don't smoke. Yeah. I want one now with this coffee. Yeah. Because I was going to say, let's go get some fucking salmons after this, but you got to take your wife up for her birthday. When are we going to start the Patreon All-Star Team oh, Draft? can I just say one more thing that yeah. was 10 out of 10 funny thing, and we could calculate this out if not, but it was just funny, and Brittany probably knows the truth anyway, is when you were supposed to write her a letter... When you were supposed to write her a letter about like, and it was supposed to be like a whole video thing, it was supposed to be ready and prepared before you even got to the council, the photographer came over and said, Brittany wants to proofread that letter. And you were like, oh, I have to go up into the room and get it. And all the groomsmen knew the reason why you said that is because you didn't write it yet. <laughs> and so you ran up to the room and wrote it because, make no mistake, it crushed in it's the a room. fucking poem and it crushed and Brittany couldn't even make through because she was crying because, yeah. make no mistake, you're very good at fooling people with your vocabulary. Yeah. You're very good at that. That's why if we have an empire, <clears throat> you know I'm going to be the Caesar. Yeah. And I'm going to have a harem, and you're just going to be my jester. Yeah. I mean, you're going to come in, and you're going to fart, and you're going to jiggle that butt for me, and then you're going to go back in the box. Let, but what? But, cause, but now I'm a boxer. I can throw hands. You're going to have to use me in the field. Yeah. Because I can throw hands. You can't throw hands, so you will be used occasionally <laughs> if we're fighting anyone except the blacks, because the blacks will knock you out. Yeah, I'll get knocked out. Yeah, because you're just a clunky white guy journeyman for black guys to fucking practice <laughs> on before they fight each other. It's just what it is, cuz. It's just what it I'm is. I'm on the varsity B team. Because you're a Division 15 legend. Yeah, it's what it is. You kept telling people that I played basketball Senor, in college. Because <laughs> you, you kept telling people that I played basketball now in my college's all-time leading scorer. And it's embarrassing for you to say, tell people that because then you have to tell them what school it is. And people are like, what is that? I've never even heard of that. And then Marco said, I think I drive past it. I thought it was an apartment building. <laughs> but it's a college. <laughs> yeah, make no mistake. Marco played <clears throat> Division 1. And he was a Division all 1. Conference, uh, all conference. Uh, academic All-American. Academic All-American. He played he, professional in Europe. He's a great kid, Marco. He is. He's a really top, just top notch class, class, class guy. He is a top. Does he listen to the potty wadi, Marco? I don't think so. They're but both, he, he, he probably supports the Patreon. Though. Well, him and Chad, I told them to be Patreon members when they started, and they just still are Patreon members, but they don't even know what it is. They, yeah, Chad doesn't know what's yeah, going I on. Mean, you know, if Mar Chad doesn't sell me a BMW, I'm going to throw him off the fucking roof. Well, you can get one whenever you want. You know what I mean? Yeah. He runs what he runs, so it is what it, what is. it is. When are we going to do the Patreon Dream Team? Um, well, I mean, we got some really funny messages that I'd like to read. Here, here, let me tell you some of the things that are going on on Patreon, because it's just, there are 10 out of 10 messages, and I'd like to do, oh, by the way. Did you see this picture I posted on Patreon uh, of me in my tux by the piano looking like a goddamn piece? Fucking piece. Yes, I'm a I piece did. of ass. You are really are a fucking kid. Because there's one picture that's going to be going up on Patreon only of Chrissy D sitting in my lap for the last time. Yeah. In our tuxes. Um... Yeah. What are you looking for? I'm just looking for the message that... Let me just say, now that we've announced that we're going to be doing our voice-like Patreon dream <clears throat> teams, people are really bringing it. Yeah. Because look at the last comment on our Patreon is from Rob Twinkie McStinky Winky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people are fucking bringing it right now. Because Lisa Johnson... Uh, Queen Matriarchy, ma uh, Matriarchy, Patreon member from almost day one, 
commented, wrote a post about your wedding. She wrote, it's titled The Fumeless Wedding. And she said, on behalf of the matriarchy, we would like to bestow a basket of witch hazel and several ass cleaning products as a token of our appreciation. Make no mistake, your wife is a piece and deserves a husband with a 100% clean ass. Yeah, that's what it is. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Poppis. Well, let me tell you what Rob Twinkie McStinky Winky says. Yeah. He says, Chris D, draft my piece. Yeah. He says, Chrissy D, I want you to pick me first like you did the cool kid when when playing fifth grade kickball. Make no mistake, I'm a gay kid with a girlfriend of multiple years, but secretly I, I really want to transition transition into a woman and take dicks like a turd. Yeah. He goes, draft me up and I can be your low spores and shoot threes and suck D's all day. <laughs> yeah. If you're wondering about my jump shot, make no mistake, I might be a white kid, but I did two years at Florida A&M, so my jump Jump shot is wet like a jerry curl. So yeah, draft me. That's fucking 10. He's just been drafted. Yo, cuz. Yeah, we're going to have to do... When do you want to do it? Next week? Let's do it next... We will be, go to patreon.com slash Boys if you want to enter in to the first ever cackle draft. Yes. The Matreon yes. draft. Patreon.com slash Boys, and we're going to draft teams and it's just going to be fucking dope. So what you Why don't we do- have them post why they should be drafted exactly. and then yes. you'll uh, pick up. There it is. Zach, for a muzzy, you're a screwed in Jew. Screwed in Jew. You, you put your <laughs> You put your yarmulke on for that Because <laughs> I was just about to say that. Post just like I just want to say his name again. Just like Rob Twinkie McSnicky Winky did. <laughs> <laughs> Go post on our community board why either one of us should draft you so we know you're there. Yeah. And we're talking to all 500 of you almost right yeah. now. Post on our page. We'll read them all. And me and Chrissy, next week, we will start our Patreon all-star draft team. And then once we get our teams together, we're going to start doing competitions yeah. that we will tell you about. And we'll do points. And there will be consequences for me and Chrissy based on if my team win or his teams win. Yeah. My, one of the things may be I have to put Isis' toes in my mouth. That's what it is. And, and we- you may have to fucking hang out with a Jew for more than two minutes. No! <laughs> it's one it's one it's and and we will do that on the free episode that goes on iTunes not just the Patreon only episode yeah, yeah. before before we start to read before we read the new members of the Patreon who have who have took in the plunge and become non toots and went to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. This this message was funny for me from Talia Valkanos. She said, my co-worker has a client named Bert. Bert called my co-worker today. My co-worker picked up her phone and said, hey, Bert, and make no fucking mistake. It took everything in me not to yell across the office. Your mom's a toot. <laughs> Happy No Fumes Friday, matriarchy from the most Franks uh, hey, Bert. She said, happy No Fumes Friday, matriarchy from the most Franks and Beans early on said Greek peace pseudo penis loving engineer on the East Coast. Gotta go douche with some witch hazel so I can get cracked open and cleaned out this weekend. <laughs> Wei Zhang Xian. Yeah, she's That's a, a, no, yeah. she's a PPW nominee and she's PP- not even a new Patreon. It's funny when girls say that they gotta get cracked open and cleaned out. Yeah. It's just a funny thing. Look, I got a DM yesterday. I can't remember the kid's name. I apologize. Maybe I'll say it at some point, but he made a good suggestion. He's a Patreon member and he said... In, in addition to to trying to guess these people's ethnicity and what their lives are like, he thinks it would be great if we guessed how much they donated okay. based on their name. Based on their So let's start that this week. We're gonna start, and speaking of donations, we just want to give a, a personal shout out and we will, uh, we're going to tell you about it in, in a second, but we just want to start off, I just want to start off this list with a personal shout out to our first $100 Patreon member, our small business level. It goes at Vidura, a.k.a. Ganged Off the Brown, a.k.a. Low Budget Aquaman, a.k.a. Chocolate Jesus, <laughs> who's, who, who joined at the $100 level on our Patreon from the capital of my homeland, Berlin, Germany. Wow. But born and raised, he was born and raised in Sri Lanka, where the weather's always over 90 and Asians are never safe. Real talk, he said, I love the show, and when you guys mentioned the small business support thing, I, I thought I'd go ahead and jump on the non two train. Let me know the details. So what we're going to need from you, Vidura, and we're going to contact you personally, is what business you want us to shout out. We're going to make, we're going to shout you out every fucking episode. Your business is now a sponsor of our podcast. Our podcast is brought to you by our business. So ISIS is going to reach out to you. You send ISIS the copy, the bullet points you want us to hit about your business. We're happy to sponsor it, and we thank you for your service for being a fucking non-toot sponsor thank you so much and we're also going to send you a funny personalized video just for you and that goes out to anybody out there who's got a business a small business a large business that wants to don't that wants to actually uh uh sponsor podcast 
That's what we have available for you for a hundred dollar level that wants and, to sponsor our podcast. And that video is going to go up on mine and Chrissy's all our social media, our platforms. Our, our main Instagram page, not everything. The, also all the our Instagram, pers- everything, the personal ones too. So combined, everything. that's that's you got two hundred fifty, two hundred fifty k, including Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Media. No, we're talking about maybe five hundred k, maybe five hundred k. It's going up, and you keep that video forever. But make no mistake, you are an official sponsor of History Hyenas, and we are in a symbiotic relationship. And yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. And cuz so make no mistake, we're going to what we're going to do for the first time ever on the episodes is we're going to guess the ethnicity and we're going to guess the amount of money, but make no mistake, we do have to move quick and cuz it's champagne problems we got now. We got a lot of Patreon members. We got a lot of people that joined so we got to get through it. Well, that's the problem that a German likes to tackle. Because yeah. you like to move fast and just think of it as you're pushing these people into the oven. Yes. So wanna, let's make it quick. I want to do it quick because I got to get a kibasi. Okay. Mike Hublitz. Mike Hublitz? Yeah. Well, let's start off with a fucking German kid, and I would say since he's German and he's wee, he's going for the ten dollars because he's fucking wants to stalk Nikki Glaser. No, well, yeah, you were right. He's probably German, but he's a cheap fuck, and he only gave five. You fucking cheap fuck! I'm gonna you, put you in the oven. Don't you know? For ten, you get to fucking listen to the interview. Ev- uh, uh, interview episode. You're having a seizure. You fucking dumb fuck. <laughs> Next up, Aaron F. Gonzalez. Que pasa, mi gente? Para, para, pa, pa. That's a kid. Make no mistake. His job is to snow, sell snow cones in August on the streets of Washington Heights. And he gave $25 because make no mistake, he's a fucking Puerto Rican kid looking, trying to get up and get some attention from Chrissy because he thinks that maybe Chrissy will support him. He gave $5. Build the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Way song she ain't. Yeah. You were sitting on that one. Yeah. Because you were sitting on a fastball. Yeah. You knew the pitcher was throwing fastball and you swung and hit it out of the fucking park. It's what it is. Matthew Carlin. Matthew Carlin. Wow, that is a good Irish kid. And I'm going to say he's going for $5. $5. Yeah, he's a dumb fucking Irish kid. He Here needs we go. money for booze. Billy Antonucci. Billy Antonucci, listen. Sounds like the girl I banged out. Here, Billy Antonucci is going to go fucking $10. And not only he did not put it over to Patreon, he sent it in an envelope in cash. In cash. He did send an envelope in cash, but he only went 5 Yeah, you fucking cheap goddamn wop. Yeah. Can I get away, Shang Chi? Wei Song Xian. Yeah. Fucking grease ball. Can I get another Wei Song Xian? Wei Song Xian. Justin Isaacs. Justin Isaacs? Wow. Wow. This is a really white Patreon right here. Yeah. He's a white, he's a Jewish kid, yep. Isaacs. Um, so I'm going to say he definitely tried to give $1. <laughs> yeah. He gave five. He gave five. Yeah. Yeah, the lowest you can give. Come on. You know you're a fucking descendant of Otto Kahn. You got money. Give us a little bit more money. <laughs> yeah. Chris Diaz. Chris Diaz. Wow. Wow, Chris Diaz. That is definitely a Puerto Rican kid. Mm-hmm. He's not Dominican. He's not Mexican. He's a Puerto Rican kid. He's not Colombian because, you know, we don't get all specific. He's a Puerto Rican kid. And make no mistake, he's a plumber. He's a good fucking plumber. He's a cute kid. And he gave $10 because he wants to hear the Dan Soda episode. So, because he's a fan of professional wrestling and kids who are almost Franks and Beans. He gave five dollars. You fucking cheap fuck. You fucking piece of shit. Go get on the bus. We appreciate it. Okay, love you. Yeah. Anthony Robles. Anthony Robles, another German kid. Uh, R O B L E S. Rob Robles. Oh, he's a always he a he's a wasp. Bad. And his and his his email Snoop dot Robes. Snoop dot Robes. So he's a wasp. Bad. Um, white kid, white kid. good old wasp, white Anglo-Saxon Protestant kid yeah. who grew up with three sisters. He's pushing down the gay hard. Yep. Okay. That's a kid who's really, he grew up like you. Sometimes he likes to sit like a sphinx cat. Yeah. And he went 10. He went 10. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Finally. We got a kid with some family money. Yeah. Next up, Thomas Dowd Warren. This guy's got three names and a hyphen. Okay, whatever you see three names, there's make no mistake, that is a kid who has had money in his family for a long time. If he's not $25, I just want him to cancel his membership because yeah. he's full of shit. He's, he gave $5, you fucking inbred. You fucking descendant of slave owners. Yeah, you piece of shit. Okay, next yeah. up, Yanni Greek by Procreation Esposito. <laughs> <laughs> PPW nominee, uh, definitely a Greek kid, hilarious Greek kid, which means he still lives with his parents. Make no mistake, he sits behind a cash register all day at a diner. Yeah, make no mistake, he's got a cross in, in the in, in, that's made out of palms. Yeah, and he's got an icon over his bed. Yeah, and he gave five dollars out of his parents' wallet. That's all correct. He gave five bucks. <laughs> yeah. Next up, Irving, look for me outside of Home Depot, Sandoval. 
Because <laughs> we're gonna have a tough time drafting these kids. Yeah. Okay. Sandoval. So what? Sandoval. What in the in the in the major leagues? What's his name? Sandoval. Pablo Sandoval. And where's he from? Pablo Sandoval. Is I he think Venezuelan. I, I or think Dominican. Venezuelan. So it's, it's all the same to me. Yeah, I know. To you. Yeah. You know, to Ridgewood, it's just fucking uh, the other side of the wall. Yeah, it's you just actually what call it is. them night walkers. Yeah, they're night walkers. Yeah. What do they call? You actually call everyone on that side white walkers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually ten out of ten. It's ten out of ten. Fire. Yeah, you could. But okay. yeah. So, so Irving, look for me outside of Home Depot, Sandoval. What do you think he gave? I think he's a Venezuelan kid, um, and I think that he gave uh, twenty five pesos. No, he gave ten dollars. Ten dollars. That's yes. pretty good. We appreciate your contribution. Thank you. Yeah. Next up, Daniela Barraza. Oh, Daniela Barraza. Make no mistake, she's the type of girl. Oh, you're gonna if you want to date her, you're gonna have to fucking meet her parents. Yes. She can cook you a good sauce. She's an Italian girl. She's living out on the island. She thinks she needs her passport when she comes to New York City. <laughs> yeah. And she gave five dollars just to get Chrissy D's attention. She gave five dollars because make no mistake, she would give ten, but she's not through nursing school yet. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Next up, Tim Murphy. Tim Murphy guy a, sounds like a cop. He's a fucking good Irish kid. Tim, I think he's going to give about fucking $5. He gave $5, you're right. You're a fucking good Irish kid. One name, Sal. Sal. Uh, it's probably Sal Vacaino in disguise. Yeah. His and email is nefarious006. Nefarious006 Sal. Okay, he's an Italian kid. Yeah. Um, He loves his mom. He loves his aunt. Yeah. He loves his mom and his aunt. Yeah. He takes him to church on Sundays. Yeah. He definitely gets his eyebrows threaded. 100%. He makes a decent CD. Yeah. And he went for $5. He went for $5. Yeah. He would go for 10 but he's got to fix his Toyota Celica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you $5 people know that you are not getting... Are you guys just going to wait for the interview episodes like a bunch of fucking toots? You're waiting for the free interview episodes once they get released? Aren't you anxious to hear Nikki Glazer? She's a pee. She's a pee. And Andrew Schultz is screwed it. Screwed it. Next up, Romina Savale. Romina Savaglia, another not another Italian girl. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, she's a piece. Yeah, she's definitely a piece. Um, she straightens her hair every morning, and um, I'm gonna say she went she went for uh, five dollars because both her parents are dentists. She actually went for ten dollars. Dentist, I was right, but there I should have went ten. Yeah, she went for ten. Our ten dollars. Those are our true fans. Those are true fans. We still love the five dollars too. Next up, Bianca Mendoza. Bianca Mendoza. Well, you know, Bianca Mendoza, I want to bang it out. Yeah, she... That's, that's the type of name I like, and she looks like a piece. Yeah, when you hear Mendoza, that is 100% Puerto Rican. Wepa, 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 wepa. And she gave, make no mistake, she tried to pay in coconut cookies. Yeah, she gave $5 in a bottle of Coquito. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up, we got two cute kids from Westchester. Okay, that's two cute kids from Westchester. What did they give? So they definitely tried to impress Marisa, so I'm going to say they gave $25. They gave $25 and they split it, which that's, is hilarious. That's, oh, that, oh, that's right. We talked. These are the first two kids that went Dutch on our fucking Patreon. They just split it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are screwed in fucking kids. Those are screwed in kids. Yeah. So make no mistake, they're paying $12.50 each. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next up, Donnie America. Donnie America. Oh, wow. Wow. First of all, we know how he votes. Yeah. Yeah. So what did he give? Okay. First of all, his name's Donnie in America. So yeah. he's, he's, a, he's a MAGA kid. Yeah. Um, and he's from the heartland. Yeah. And he gave, he's fiscally responsible. Yeah. Because <laughs> he leads right. Yeah. So he gave five bucks and he wants to see how it goes. No, he gave, actually he gave $10. Wow. Yeah, he's probably a proud alum of Covington High. Yeah, because he knows this is a Republican podcast. That's what it is. Wei Shang Xing, please. Wei Shang Xing. All right, come on. We got to speed it up. Yeah. Next up, Cody Jarrett. Cody Jarrett, Jewish kid. Come on. Uh, half wasp. He's going to give, uh, he gave $5. Okay, $5. Yeah. Next up, one named Benson. Um, Benson? Yeah, he's got a cowboy hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Benson is a kid from Texas. He he owns a horse. He's He has a chewing tobacco problem, and the kid gave five bucks. He gave 10 bucks. Thank you. Howdy. Ben, I should have known one name like that. He's a yeah. fucking cute kid. Mike Ahern. Mike Ahern? Ahern. Ahern. That's a Oh, yeah. What did Mike give? He's a German kid, and he gave us $25. $25. Yeah. yeah. Make no mistake, wasps run the world. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. So he gave 25 His birthday party, people were wearing masks. Lauren Manuel. Lauren Manuel? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say she's a French girl with French roots. She's from New Orleans, so she knows about Creole culture. And she gave a nice $10. She gave a $10. Thank yeah. you, Lauren. Thank you, Lauren. Alex F. Soto. Alex XO, wow, Hispanic kid, probably from Colombia, and um, 
I'm going to say that kid went for five. He went for five. Good kid. Next up, Vidura Rajapakska. What the fuck is that? Vidura Rajapakska. Portuguese? No, Vidura Rajapakska. Oh, well, the, we can't, that, you can't even do that voice anymore. No, you can do it. There's no, no problem you can't with the do it. No. Vidura, no, I'm going to tell you why. Tell, give me a guess. There's, you can't do that voice because we have a problem with the po and you can't do it because nobody from South Asia talks like that when they come to this country. They talk normal. They don't talk like that. So I'm going to say he gave, since he's Indian and I watch Russell Peters and I know how cheap they are, he gave $2. No, Vitora gave $100. Get the fuck out this of here. This is Vitora Gandalf the Brown Chocolate Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. South Asian kids are the best. Vitora, thank you for giving $100 and fucking go eat his snake. Next up, Wei Zhong Qian. Oh, he's going to be our... So he, Wei Zhong Qian. He yeah. is, he's the new king of the matriarchy. Vidura is the fucking king of the matriarchy. And that, once he's, we, he's, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's our Gandhi. He's our... F <laughs> That's what he is. <laughs> he's our fucking Gandhi right now. He's our first small business sponsor. And yeah. make no mistake, that he's made history. Because once we find out what his business is, we'll fucking promote it. Because make no mistake, for giving $100,000 a month, I would let Vidura bang me out. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Because you're screwed in. I'm screwed in. Next up, Terrence Holland. Terrence Holland, finally a black kid. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Big hubs. Yeah. 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 Finally, another black kid. We love our black kids. Yeah, I mean. And so he's going. I'm, I'm saying he went 25. He gave five beans, son. Yeah. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Stephen Corcoran. Stephen Corcoran? Wow. Okay. So Corcoran, we know he's a wasp. He's related to Barbara. He's got a lot of family money. If he didn't go 25, I want him out of my life. He's, he gave $10. Okay. That's Steve good. That's yeah, good. okay, Steven, yeah. so we appreciate your yeah. 10, yeah. but you better fucking do what's right because we know your family's yeah. got money. Yeah. Fucking wasp. Next up, Katie Way, who looks like a... That's her ethnicity is fucking peace. peace. It doesn't matter. She's for Rome, and the girl gave five, and she's fine with five. She gave five, and she has no fumes. Yes. Next up, Dylan Wasbrook. Yeah, well, we got a hardcore wasp. I'm going to assume it's 25. He gave five. Okay, well, let me tell you something, Wasp. <laughs> Give 25, because we've got a lot of black kids listening to this, and your fucking forefathers were slave owners, and you need it for reparations. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Next up, Erica Philip. F-I-L-E-P, or Philippe, something like that. Okay, she, her roots are French. Yeah. So she's from France, and I'm going to say, since French people don't eat a lot, and they only drink coffee all day, I'm going to go, she gave... Two fifty. She gave ten dollars. Love you, Felipe. love you. Next up, Jeff Farmer, aka Steel Pipe Jeffrey. <laughs> good old Heartland kid. He's a good kid. That's a Kansas kid. Yeah, got a decent sense of humor. He's built like a fucking brick shit house. But the kid can only afford five bucks a month. Exactly. Yeah. Last but not least, because all the jobs are overseas. That's what it is. Yeah. Last but not least, Joe Marinacci. Joe, wow. Can you just repeat that name, but do it correctly? Joe Marinacci. Exactly. Can yeah. I get a glass of water? Yeah. <laughs> can I get a Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Joe, can you pass me a glass of water? Yeah. Yeah, that's a kid who never drinks bottled water. He drinks from the sink. Yeah. yeah, his mother cooks the sauce. Yeah, his aunt Marie is his favorite person. Yeah, and he aspires to be just like his dad, whose name is Vito, and he's a plumber. Yeah, and he gave five dollars because make no mistake, he's trying to save his money because he thinks we're under attack by the Chinese. And he also has union dues. Yeah, he's got union dues, so he gave five bucks. So we worked in his budget. Yeah, yeah, it's what it is. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for your service. Should we call a twenty-five dollar? Should we call a couple? Yeah, we got to call a couple. Let's call a couple. And also, while ISIS. Uh, gets the numbers ready for call let me just say this guys if you're listening to this as a toot go seek out the non-toots and ask him what they get we I, does anyone give more content we give the most on patreon because i mean we're doing like you get like three four bonus episodes yeah make no mistake we're going twice a week right now if you listen to this for free you also notice that you got um the andrew schultz podcast is up at the same time there are two Back-to-back -back History Hyena episodes being released now, which means there's four interview episodes in the chamber. So if you join Patreon for a month as a $10 member, you and only you 
will be able to enjoy those episodes for a month before they're fucking released to the toots like table scraps. Yeah. You guys eat first. You're the first class passengers through the friendly skies of Bay Ridge. We are the Bay Ridge boys. Our $25 members get our kamikaze episodes where me and Chris just start recording and trick the other one. And uh, unfortunately, we say a lot of wild stuff on that one. Those are for our $25 members. And the $25 members get a whole bunch of other shit. Our $5 members get our bonus episode. Yeah. Oh, the $10 members also get our videos. The $10 members get to watch the podcast um, as well as listen to it. And now we got new HD cameras because we're screwed in. But our $5 members get our bonus episode. Every single week, there is a concomitant bonus episode that accompanies our free episode. So if you want to get two for one, if you're a hungry hyena and you haven't gotten your fill each and every week, join the Patreon, join our community so you can be a part of our Community, our matriarchy. Yeah. Now we're going to call some of our $25 members. So when you become a $25 member, once a month, Chrissy calls you up and talks to you, and I just scream, Yoff in the background. Yes. So the two kids from Westchester didn't answer, so I'm going to try Bailey. Bailey. Fezzler. Let's try Bailey Fezzler. Oh, Bailey Fezzler. I think she's a piece. Joe Marinacci, also running our community board, he said, is Chrissy going to post a wild pick on this page or what? So they need something from you, Chrissy. What do they mean? Because they just love you. Should I post the one with my dick tuck back? No. Or post that already? No, no, no. Just, no, but it's, it, it, I'm, uh, you don't see anything. I just I just tuck my dick back. And you oh, that's just, a video. It's a picture. Oh, it's a picture. I posted it on our History Anus Instagram and it got taken off, but they can't take it off our Patreon. No, they can't. They can't. Uh, well, no, so make it. Why don't you make it for the the higher the higher up in price? You know the cooler the, the two. So, so for twenty five dollars, I'll, I'll I'll post it. Line, I'm gonna make, you the, uh, make make it for ten. Oh, yeah, she picked up. Yeah, yeah. Bailey, right? Got Hello, Bailey. Hi. What's up? It's it's um it's Chris Stefano from the History Hyenas, and, aka Chrissy Kunanit, and I'm Giannis Pappas, aka Peanut Head. How you doing, babe? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Well, thank you for being a valuable twenty five dollar member. You're welcome. What are you doing right now? I'm walking to a conference room so I don't get fired for what, talking to you guys. What do you do for work? <laughs> um, I work in tech sales. Wow. What city do you live in? <laughs> I live in Denver. Denver's a fucking hell of a city. I just was there last month. I wish we would have hung out because you sound like a piece. <laughs> I went to your show. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, uh, yeah. about your podcast. Did we meet? We didn't meet after the show, right? She fainted. No. No, we got it. Next no. time we got to meet. Why didn't Why didn't you go up to meet no. him? Did you feel too shy because of he's just too cute? Oh my god! So yeah, kind of. <laughs> no, don't. If you're a valuable twenty five dollar member of the matriarchy, you I can am, sleep in his hotel room. Yeah, I'm yours. Oh uh, man. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. We just you know we're, we're gonna call you every month because that's just what we do. If you're a twenty five dollar member, we just call you on the phone and we talk to you and it's just live on the podcast. Love it. Now um, let me ask you a question. Giannis, by the way. What? What? You, oh yeah. Con she said congrats to you for getting married. Thank you. Um. Yeah. For when we get when we get to a thousand Patreon members, we're gonna post a video of Giannis sucking Zach Isis's toes. What do you think of that? <laughs> Oh my god, I would I want to see that for sure. What about a picture of my open asshole? No, is, is no. that out? <laughs> <laughs> there is I mean, I'm curious. I need to the, I, She wants to see it cuz There is no demand for that photo. Yeah, you're trying to create that demand. There is no demand. I want to ask the Patreon community if they want that cuz they want a Chrissy deal. Give it on Chrissy goes. <laughs> I like your name, Bailey Fe What is it? Bailey Fezler? Yeah. That's a great name. What kind of name is Bailey? Um, I think my parents actually got it off a sitcom. And really? And they wanted, yeah, so you like know if, if a man's name Sydney is with an I, mm -hmm. and if it's a girl, it's usually with a Y. That's what my parents tried to do with Bailey. Nice. So you got some creative, cute parents. Yeah, all the way up north in Alaska. They're cute wow. Alaska. You're from Alaska. <laughs> That's, all right, here, Yanni's got a question, then we got to go. What's your favorite okay. moment of the History Hyena podcast thus far? Can you think of it? I don't mean to put you on the spot, but what's something that really got you cackling? I mean, the whole Steel Pipe Chrissy episode, like, I actually, like, had to walk away from my gate at the airport. Because <laughs> people were looking at me like I was insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we go nuts. I, I, 
I really liked the Queen Elizabeth episode, too. You guys crushed that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to start to do, because we're asking our, especially our valuable $25 members, like, what they like. So you like a little bit of history with the funny. You like, Queen Elizabeth had a lot of history. You like that. Yeah, totally. But I, mean, I also like that you guys are, like, goofy, and, you know, especially in 2019 where everybody's so sensitive. Yeah. It's nice that you guys are still out there doing your thing, being yourselves. Yeah, appreciate that. See, this is just a great human. I can't. I'm coming to Denver. We're getting married. Are you single? I am single right oh now. Oh my god! I'm coming there. You're gonna get cracked open and cleaned out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he. I got the CBD oil. You bring the witches. Wow! All right, Bailey. We fucking love you. Thank you so much. We're calling you next month. All right. Thanks. All right. Bye. Wow, she's what a, a babe. She's a babe. She's a heart. I mean, ISIS is just letting the dial tone get on here. Yeah, di- yeah. Because she's a real fan. She said, you bring the CBD oil, I'll bring, bring the, the witch hazel. hazel. Yeah. yeah. She's going to get cracked up and cleaned out. It's what it is. We got any other 25s or that's it? Yeah, let's call our last one. All right, yeah. let's call the last one. And then we got to end this episode. We've been on for too long. Yeah, Bailey's a piece. Bailey, she sounds like a piece, but that's interesting what she said because she's a valuable member. Yeah. And she really is a, she's a real fan. She said she likes a little more history. Yeah. And from now Queen on. Elizabeth was a great episode. It was a great episode. And I did, we did a lot of research on that. So we, we got to do that. We do. Um, for our $25 members, from now on, when we call you, we're going to ask you what your favorite moment is. So be prepared. Yeah. That's uh, a good, great, great. Yeah. And in our bonus episode, we're going to get into further detail about AutoCon because make no mistake, we put the juicy stuff behind the Patreon wall. Yeah. Or should I say, we put the juicy stuff. Let's just call our bonus episodes kosher episodes. Yeah, they're kosher episodes. And let's just be honest. If yeah, we're going to put all that. We're going to put all. We're going to put all the juicy stuff behind the Patreon. What we like to call it Israel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who are we on with? Leo Love Handles. Leo Love Handles. What's up, baby? It's Chris Stefano, a.k.a. Chrissy Kunana from the History Hyenas. What's up, boo? Nothing much, man. How are you guys doing? Good, man. Yeah, we got Yanni, um, special special needs Stamos. Yanni's Pompas is right here, too. <laughs> What's up, Yanni B? How you been? Thank yeah. You. Congrats on the wedding. Yo, thanks, brother. Thank you, man. I'm a married kid. Where are you at, Leo Love Handles? What city are you in? Uh, I'm in Michigan, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Yeah, it's a good city, good college town. Yeah, let's be honest, you vote red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys should come down to the comedy club over here, man. I've we would love there. to. I've been going over there recently. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to get it. We're gonna try to get a live podcast booked over there. What do you do for work? Uh, so I do a bunch of different stuff. Uh, I, I run cars. I'm a valet. I work uh, for the Lions part time too. I'm also a baseball coach, so I'm I'm all over the place. So you're you're a Hispanic kid. <laughs> oh. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my, you just... My, go ahead. My mom grew up in the jungles in Colombia. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm a fucking Hispanic kid. I mean, because you're not valet parking cars and a baseball coach if you're not Latino. <laughs> 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 it's just what it is, cuz. Cuz there's a 0% chance that you don't know how to juggle a fucking soccer ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, my, my, my uncle, he worked there. He played on the Mexican national team. Wow. I guessed yeah. right. Yeah. I guess. No, Leo, thank He's you. He's a hardworking fucking kid. Thank you for being a $25 <laughs> member. I mean, cuz, we're going to call you every month. Isn't that fucking wild? Yeah, dude, I'm I'm looking forward to, the, to talking to you guys, man. Listen, we're asking all our twenty five dollar members if you, we're not to, not to put you on the spot, but what's your favorite moment of the podcast so far? So my favorite episode so far is the Ari Shapir episode. Mm-hmm. Just the, all the <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a group of Catholic kid. I went to Catholic school all the way from kindergarten to, to high school, so I kind of knew the whole Judaism type thing. But some of the questions you guys were bouncing off Ari were fucking hilarious. Yeah. I, Cackling in the car. Now, because I went to Catholic school my whole life too. Were you when you met when you met your first Jew? Did you think they were going to get their magic on you or no? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I, yeah. I made sure I held on my I held on my wallet real tight, and I said the I said the Lord's prayer as well. Yeah, you have to, right? Yeah, I remember the first time when I met my first Jew at twenty three. I just kept saying the Our Father just in case the Jew magic got on me. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, Leo Love Handles, you're a good kid. What are you doing tonight? Uh, tonight, man, I'm just chilling. I got home from work about an hour ago. Are you a single but, kid? Uh, or are you gonna you gonna go out there and look to crack something open, or you got a girlfriend? Uh, no, I'm a single kid, man. But uh, I, I I go out on the weekends, decent amount. And you clean, was a pretty fun town. You clean some so. of these girls out, no? Yeah, man. Uh, hit, I, I hit a miss. I'm kind of a kind of I look kind of like a Manny from Modern Family who gets caught with a drinking problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, he's a funny kid. You're a funny kid. Leo Love Family is a 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cuz. Well, cuz, make no mistake, if we come to Michigan, we'll toss you our keys. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I'll, I'll be there. Just I'll, wherever you guys at. 
<laughs> All right, brother. Thank you so much, man. We're going to call you again next month. We appreciate you. We appreciate your loyalty. All right, dude. Thanks so much. You All right, take later. care. All right, you too. Yeah, Ta- he's funny kid. Funny, funny kid. All right. Well, listen, that was another fucking episode. Go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys to hear more behind the scenes stuff about Ohika Castle and Otto the Con, a.k.a. Otto the Jew. And uh, you can catch all my stand updates at chrisdcomedy.com. Um, I'm, I'll be in uh, uh, Washington. DC. I'll be in the DC Draft House March 8th and 9th. I'll be at Sacramento Punchline March 21st to the 23rd and March 28th to March 31st. I'll be at the San Antonio Improv. Come see your boy. I'll be in Philadelphia this coming weekend if you're listening on Thursday. And if you're listening on Sunday, you're fucking assed out. But I will be at Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Levity Live in West Nyack and Governors in Levittown. So go get your tickets. Google that shit. See you guys later. Have a nice time and suck a dick. <laughs>